Let's solve these problems. Evaluate the following integral. So let's start with 1. Integral of sine squared x cosine squared x dx. So what I will do is to rewrite this sine squared x cosine squared x as sine x cosine x quantity squared dx. Applying the power of a product law of exponent. And then from here. I can use the double angle identity for sine 2x which is equal to 2 sine x cosine x. So since I need this sine x cosine x here, I can get rid of this coefficient of 2 by dividing both sides by 2. So we will have sine 2x over 2 is equal to sine x cosine x. And then substituting in the original integral. The sine x cosine x can be written as sine 2x over 2, then quantity squared dx. So you can distribute the exponent 2 on the numerator and denominator. We will have sine squared 2x over 2 square dx. So this 2 square is now equal to 4. And uh, I can put this constant of 1 fourth in front of the integral. So I will have 1 fourth integral of sine squared 2x dx and now to evaluate the integral of sine squared 2x i can use the reduction formula so sine squared 2x is equal to one half times quantity one minus so since the angle is 2x it should be cosine of 2 times 2x or that will be cosine of 4x dx. Again, we produce here another constant 1 half. So, I can just put it in front of the integral. So, we need to multiply 1 fourth times 1 half or that's equal to 1 eighth times the integral of quantity 1 minus cosine 4x dx. So, I can distribute this integral symbol together with the dx so we can integrate term by term. So, we will have 1 eighth integral of 1 dx or simply dx minus 1 8 integral of cosine 4x dx. So for the first integral, we have 1 8 integral of dx. That's x. So we have 1 8 x. Then for the second one, we can use u substitution first. Let u be equal to 4x. Then getting the derivative of both sides. Derivative of u, it's du. Derivative of 4x, it's 4 dx. So we just need the dx term. Let's get rid of this extra coefficient of 4. I can divide both sides by 4. So we'll have du over 4 is equal to dx. And therefore, if we substitute in the integral, we will have negative 1 8 integral of cosine 4x, which is equal to u. And then this dx is equal to du over 4. Now, this 1 fourth is another constant again, so we can put it in front of the integral. So, we need to multiply negative 1 8 times 1 fourth. So, that will be negative 1 over 32 integral of cos u du. So, we will have negative 1 over 32 integral of cos sin u, that's positive sin u. And let's just transform back the u in terms of the original variable, u is equal to 4x. So we have negative 1 over 32 sine 4x. Let's bring down this 1 8 x. So the final answer is 1 8 x minus 1 over 32 sine 4x. Then don't forget the plus c. For number 2, we have the integral of sine squared x cosine cube x dx. So we have the product of the powers of sine and cosine. The power of sine is an even number 2. And the power of cosine is an odd number 3. So if that's the case, I can retain sine squared x. And then I will split the power of cosine cube as cosine squared x times cosine x dx. And then I will have integral of sine squared x times. I will transform this cosine squared x in terms of sine squared x using the Pythagorean identity. So that's equal to 1 minus sine squared x, then cosine x dx. From here, I can let u be equal to sine x. Getting the derivative, derivative of u, it's du. 
and derivative of sin x is cosine x dx. So therefore, we have created this term already, cosine x dx and the original integral, which is equal to du. Substituting, we will have integral of, so this sin x is equal to u, then there's a square, times 1, minus sine again, which is u, then we have the square, and this cosine x dx is equal to du. So I can distribute first this u square, multiply u square times 1, that's u square, minus u square times u square, that's u to the fourth, du. So let's distribute the integral symbol together with the du, so we can integrate term by term. We'll have integral of u square du, minus integral of u to the fourth du. So these two integrals can be evaluated both using power rule. So integral of u squared du is u to the 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1, or that will be u cube over 3, minus integral of u to the 4th is u to the 4th plus 1 over 4 plus 1, or that's u to the 5th power over 5, then don't forget the plus c. So we just need to transform back the u in terms of sin x, so the final answer should be 1 third sine cube x minus 1 fifth sine to the fifth x plus c. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to evaluate this integral and just comment your answers.